Let us begin this discussion of uh, anesthesia recall session. Identify the mask that is used in the image with COVID patients. Uh, again, you know, I don't know what question they have asked in your MCQs, uh, but I wanted to show you all the masks because this have been repeatedly asking in this COVID period. 2019, 20, 20, 21. Three years uh, they have been asking about the oxygen therapy for the patient. And in edition six, I made a separate module on oxygen therapy. How do we classify the oxygen delivery devices? that is low pressure uh, variable performance devices then is a fixed performance devices so i will show you in this image they have you know many students have given multiple options for me so what i have done is i have removed the image but i wanted to show what are the images what we have added the first image what we have added is that is the nasal prongs this is the nasal prongs image where we the flow rate should be kept around from between 1 to 6 liter for every liter of the flow rate the oxygen saturation will improve by 4 percentage the disadvantage the advantage is it is very simple device you can eat food also with a nasal cannula but the disadvantage is high flow rates will cause nasal irritation the second one what you are seeing is a simple face mask simple face mask or we call it as hudson's mask Hudson's mask. The flow rate should be between, you know, 6 to 8 liters or 9 liters, something around the. It is a low variable performance device, low flow. The second one is uh, the third one, what you are seeing is a non rebreathing image, non rebreathing mask, where the flow rate should be kept around 10 to 15 liters. It produces maximum concentration of oxygen, maximum concentration of oxygen to the patient. Right. So this is wonderful agent that has been used uh, pro providing because, you know, the main target is to make this bag inflated. The main target is to make this bag inflated to we keep around 10 to 15 liters of oxygen per minute. Again, this provides maximum uh, concentration of oxygen to the patient. The one that you are seeing in this image is a high flow nasal cannula. It is like, you know, the same nasal cannula, but the flow rates are kept around between 40 to 100 liters, depending on the type of instrument. Most of the commonly available equipment, they use around 60 to 80 liters per minute. So we discussed about this high flow oxygen cannula in the module of oxygen therapy in edition 6. So I have given you a nice clinical situation also. What are the mistakes that what we generally do while prescribing oxygen for the patient? Please go through that video link uh, in the edition 6. That would be very useful. The fifth image is the one what the, this patient is using is the Venturi mask. Venturi mask. So it's a fixed performance device. It is a fixed performance device that has been used where you can deliver the appropriate amount of oxygen. So everything I have discussed uh, is a clinical scenario example in the therapy in the chapter of oxygen therapy in edition six. Please go through this. So that's the reason why instead of giving the image, I wanted to show all the images and I wanted to label them. Right. So this is the next question that have been asked. The another question that have been asked is the following image is used for monitoring of a patient after anesthesia. What is the most commonly used now? So what is this image? This image is a typically seen in our video lectures. Also, I have been showing it. It's an image of neuromuscular monitoring, neuromuscular monitoring. So what is the most commonly used now to monitor? That is the ulnar nerve. Right. So ulnar now is a adductor pollicis muscles that we use to monitor the neuromuscular monitoring. There are four patterns of stimulus. What we have discussed here, that is the single twitch stimulus, single twitch stimulus, train of four ratio, train of four ratio, tetanic stimulus and double burst stimulation. So the advantage is train of four ratio can differentiate can differentiate a depolarizing blockade from non-depolarizing blockade. DMR from NDMR. NDMR molecule typically have a fade. So during the recovery of a patient, the TOF ratio should be always greater than 0.9. Right. Tetanic stimulus is used to, is a painful stimulus. It is used to identify whether the patient is in deeper planes or not by you counting the post tetanic counts, PTC, post tetanic count. Because tetanic stimulus on repeated application, the muscle will contract repeatedly and after that, after if you apply a current stimulus in a normal patient, there will be exaggerated amount. But in deeper planes of anesthesia, the post-tetanic counts will be zero. 
right but it is painful double burst stimulation is also similar to tetanus stimulus but it is not so painful so we discussed about, about this uh, neuromuscular monitoring in detail in neuromuscular monitoring chapter please have a look at it i think these are only questions that have been asked in your recent examinations so i try thought like i'll give you a quick material so not every time so i wanted to tell you one thing don't think that uh, every time the things will be flowing like this at some times what will happen you know if some examiner comes and he wants to ask you know this i have been repeatedly seeing one year they give more number of questions one year they give less number of questions so last year if they got less number of questions from anasisha that means you know there is a high probability that examiner thinks okay maybe you know the students also neglect it it's a common tendency to think right so the students also think that okay there are less number of questions let us do less bit of revision or let us skip some of the topics and read some other topic but i suggest i strongly recommend that please go through anasisha because this is one subject which is you know if you understand the basics and if you can thoroughly read it do a good revision of it most of the times most of the students they secure around 95 to 100 percentage of correct aid with the material what we have provided so with this what i will tell is best of luck for the forthcoming examinations uh, thank you